bathing pools, I guess. Yes, these yep. are bathing pools. Go to the other side. There's still water in it. Yeah, there's water in these gully looking fellas looking around. Yeah. Look at him. I yep. don't know what he's up to. He's probably going to ask money from you. Yeah. Don't like him. Ugly little creatures. Little devils. Although the babies are kind of cute, I guess. Somewhat. So where are we, Alex? We're at the Manic Rahera. So it's a monastic site. So the Dagobas, are they, um, is that like a stupa? Is it a similar, yeah. Yeah. same thing? Stupa, Dagaba, these are all just different names for uh, Synonyms. Relic, relic, um, uh, like base okay. So here you see actually uh, terracotta carvings of stone uh, lions and things. These are a little bit unusual, these carvings. They're very much in a different style than uh, what you're normally accustomed to here. And again, you have the guard stones. Yeah, this is a very tranquil place. And, uh, inside, have. There's never really any entrance because you don't go inside. It's supposed to be it's a place a place where they keep relics deep in the in the si inside of the. Um, oh, okay. Inside of it, inside relics uh, inside these um, uh, temples. There's like little tiny. Uh, relic kept in, you know, maybe with some uh, precious stones or something like that, and whatever, like some something significant. And they are they bricking it in, or is there a way of accessing? They, brick, they bricked it in. Wow. They bricked it okay, in. Okay, so this is to keep it in perpetuity. Yeah, very much so. And like uh, a lot of the um, exploration that happened in the early 20th century and things was also going into the stupas to see what was in them, because also a lot of treasure hunters were trying to get into them as well. So they thought, mm, it's big must have something important inside <laughs> and they were they were right yeah okay, well, so i wonder yeah. if this must have been a looter hole or no this is most likely when they excavated it and to go inside right it went down there, there yeah yeah or also could have already been looted not sure there yeah, you have the monk cells here so the houses of the monks at the side this is a oh. urinal. Yeah. This little thing here. This is an ancient urinal. Ancient so, pisser. Yes. All right. So you, you would place your feet here, pee in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's not a hole. Well, most likely I think it might have been somewhere here because there seems to be some sort of drainage outlet showing here. So underneath would have been all these plastic sort of tanks. Yeah. So most likely that was around here. Mm. So. So the monks would have actually been in all of these little cells. Yeah, and they had toilet yeah. facilities. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cushy. Cushy life. Well, I mean, like, uh, from most of the country living back then, you'd probably just have to poop in a hole or huh. just pee in a hole. But uh, having a stone carved urinal is. It's, I mean, that probably costs even more than a, to make now than a normal toilet. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to find good stone masonry exactly, these days. Yeah. So now we're heading to pretty massive looking stupa. So do you know who built this? Which king? Uh, oh, thank you. Absolutely massive. So yeah, it's a, according to the guide it says that 
Nissan Kamala, he, uh, the, the spire was originally like golden or gold plated. The golden pinnacle for this, uh, well maybe not the spire itself, maybe something really at the top. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna touch I don't know. Mange and fleas. Hi. Oh no, there's no. Oh. oh no. Oh, and there's another one looking over. Very cute. Hello. You want a little bit of nature? Oh wow, there's a lot of fire ant nests. Fire ant nests? Yeah. Yeah, the red ants, I mean, I, the closest thing would be fire ants. Uh, I can see some here on top of this cable yeah, running across. To, uh, have the problem of like stepping accidentally or bumping into one of these these nests. They're oh, quite, really? They're, they're quite vicious. Okay. I mean, normally when they're just one like little individual ants, they're fine. They don't really bother you. They're not aggressive. But if mm. you attack the nest, then yeah. problematic. So all these ancient temples are still used. So you can actually buy offerings to put there on the desk in front, or the table in front of the the shrine in front of the uh, stupa. Yeah. So we have to take our shoes off, have to leave a hat. So an, as an active site of worship, you can see there's these shrines to Buddha. And there's a doggy that's sort of taken up residence there inside. So I guess in its heyday this would have there would have been a throng of people here in these temples. So you've got the mage house here. And look at the statue of Buddha. Yeah, it's part of that living heritage still, you know, these things are still being used for the purpose that they were made. I, I like to think it's that's fairly impressive that it's still being used after all this time. I'm sure after a period of abandonment, but once things settle down. There's another image house. Not mage house, the eye was just worn off. Yeah, yeah. Did you say mage I house? Said, I said mage house before. <laughs> but not my fault, you know, if the sign's wrong. The sign I, is I wrong, can't read Sinhalese or Tamil, so... Yeah, it's alright. But, um, yeah, these are all little image houses. Some sort of step structure with flattened platforms. Uh, it's called Gopala Pabata, the okay. hill, hill of the cowherds. Hill of the cowherds. Oh, is this the place? I think they might have one of the oldest inscriptions here dating to 200 BC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Donatory inscription in the Brahmi script of a pre-Christian date mentioning that it was the cave of a person called Madalaya. There you go. So this is the earliest um, evidence of inhabitation of the site. Although people were probably living here for thousands of years before. But yeah, we have the earliest inscription, 200 BC. Well, apparently there's caves around here actually as well. Yeah, so you can see there's a rock structure that this, these bricks are built on top of to flatten it out. So I think the cave might be over there. We'll go check it out. Another little temple or some structure here built at some point. I don't think this is an active temple. This is something else. This is something else. Many pillars. Not sure what to look at them. 
So where's this cave? I don't know. It said on the eastern side. Which way is east? Uh, that's a good question. I feel that it's that side. Yeah, but that... Still looking for the cave with the inscription. The oldest evidence of inhabitation of the site. Look at these monkeys. On this little stupa. Dagaba. Look at them. These are the nicer ones, the black face ones, right? These are the nicer ones. Oh, did you see that he just did a somersault? <laughs> he just did a backflip from ah, the vine well, onto the... Nice. Uh, yeah, these, are, these are guys are a lot, a lot more chill than the uh, talking macaques. Yep. The one that was looking like it was going to come for us for the these food. Are langurs. They're langurs. Langurs. Okay. They look like they have fun. Especially when they get fed quite a lot from the tourists, they get fat and then they lie around here. Yeah. The Dolce Vita, right? La Dolce Vita.